Hi, I'm Max Sansaloni. Welcome to another lesson. Uh, what I want to share with you in this lesson is I want to show you a beat that I played in one of my other videos, which is called a funky Latin drum solo. And it's the main beat that I play in the video. Uh, I got a lot of questions about this beat and uh, how to play it. So uh, I'll, I'll just break it down for you. Uh, first, I'll show you what the beat is. And the beat is, is a timba beat. And timba is a style of music in Cuba. And timba is like salsa, but it's a more modern version of salsa. And uh, it's really a mix of salsa and funk and jazz. Uh, it's really a mix of a lot of different things. So the drummer's role in this music is really uh, is partly as a timbale player and partly as a drum set player. And the drum set player part is really playing uh, more funk rhythms with a backbeat. And on the timbale side, they're playing more of the traditional rhythms that they play in salsa, but it's all like mixed up all together. So here's what the beat sounds like. <laughs> So as you can see, a lot of stuff going on in the beat. And for this beat, it's almost like the drummer is separated in two. Left hand is playing the timbale part, right hand and right foot is playing uh, the funky drum part. So first I'm gonna show you what each hand is doing. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the left side on the timbale, what's going on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the left hand, and the right side is doing this. Okay, so now uh, it's kind of hard to put just put both of them together all at once. So the way I would work on a beat like this is I would just take one beat at a time and go uh, through the beat like that. So if you're thinking of the beat in 16 notes, usually in this music they think of it more like in cut time, so it would be in 8 notes, but just for this video I'll do it in 16 notes, it'll be a bit easier. So. You're doing it in 16 notes, we're taking four notes at a time. So the way I do it is I take from the one to the two, and I just uh, play those four notes. Then I take from the two to the three, just play those four notes. Then from the three to the four, then from the four to the one, okay? So the, let, let, I'll play the first four notes from the one to the two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you're at home, just work on that over and over till you get it. Now I'll play from the two to the three. Okay, so now you have those two. So now you could start just putting those two together. Okay, so keep practicing that over and over again. Now we'll do from beat 3 to beat 4. Ok, 
Okay, so now we could add that to the two beats we already have. Okay, now for the last one, from the four to the one. Okay, so now we'll play the whole thing very slowly. So now I suggest when you're practicing and trying to get this beat is just go take one beat at a time and really take your time till you get it uh, you know in your body in your head where you don't have to think of it then move on to beat two then put the two of them together and do beat three put the three together do beat four put the four together and just play after that play it very slowly the whole beat the whole way through and then well, you know uh, once you start feeling more comfortable with it, you could start speeding it up. And once you have the beat down really well, uh, a good idea is to play along with uh, any salsa or timba music to just get the feel of the music. Because a lot of times in Afro-Cuban music, when they play, they're not playing uh, like straight 16 notes. It's almost like in between 16 notes and triplets. The best way to do it is just to play along with the music because the whole feel is in that music. Another thing is, once you get the beat, uh, then start fooling around with it, start adding fills, coming in and out of it. Uh, this is how you're going to make the beat your own. So a lot of drummers just, when they learn a beat, they just learn the beat. And when you just do this, you can't use it in your everyday playing, you know, on gigs or just playing by yourself. You have to really improvise with the groove, play fills, put your own feeling into it, change it, play variations. You have to do this in the practice room. So when you do go on a live gig, you'll be able to use this, not like, uh, you know, uh, thinking about it, okay, I'm going to use this beat here now, but it's going to come out naturally once you really have it down and you're able to improvise with it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the same beat and I'm just going to move my right hand to the cowbell here instead of playing it on the hi-hat and I'm gonna pump eighth notes with my left foot so uh, a little variation on the groove so uh, this is what it, it's the exact exact sticking I'm just moving my right hand to the to the cowbell